Welcome back to another episode of Tap That. I am Allie Ray, your host, and today we have a really special beer. It's actually my favorite. I think it might be my most highly rated on Untapped. No, it's not? Okay, well. <laughs> Okay, that was a mega surprise. Today, we have a really special beer. It's actually one of my favorites. It might not be the top rated, but it is up there. It's definitely above a four, which I do not give often on untapped, so that's impressive. Okay, so let's get into it. Beer me, baby. Whee. Today, I am reviewing Dr. Juice by Parrish Brewing. This brewery is out of Bruiser, Louisiana. It is one of the largest breweries in that region. This beer. This beer is amazing, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't even reviewed it yet, but I'm gonna tell you this is one of my favorites, my holy girls, I love this beer. So first and foremost, let's get to the stats of this beer. This is a hazy IPA, it is 6% ABV, and it is only 30 IBU, so the bitterness is just perfect. Okay, one thing I did not consider is that I have nice nails, and I'm not breaking a nail on cam, so can I get like a bottle opener? A knife! Um, well, maybe a, a butter knife? This is how we do things around here on Tap That. This is, look, I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be a professional. We'll get that out of frame though. All right. Oh, look at that. It's already got the foam coming off the top. That's beautiful. Now I did spend some time learning how to do appropriate pour and I had it all wrong. I thought you're supposed to tilt the glass. No, real reviewers just dump it in. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I can take it, I promise. So this is already beautiful. I'm actually very impressed with myself that I have been learning about how to properly review beers. You know, I'm used to in the bar, I'm just chugging them back. I'm like, oh, that was good. But there's a, there's a real method to this, guys. I've done a little research. Now, you wanna swirl it because we are, the aromas, the aromas are very important. Right off the bat, it is pineapple central. So much pineapple. Like, it's basically pineapple juice. It looks like pineapple juice. It has really good rocky head. That's always important. Looks really good. And now we're gonna taste it. There's a sweetness. It's not too bitter. You can taste the hops, so it's definitely an IPA. You can, you can feel that. But it's actually really smooth. What's crazy is, It's 6%. I mean, this could literally be like a beach crusher. I mean, it's a little dangerous to be crushing IPAs on the beach all day, but I would. Just saying. Hmm. Now, I did not look at my untapped reviews because I purposely wanted to give every beer a new review. Mind you, this is out of a can versus draft. Things are always going to taste better on draft, in my opinion. But this, I am going to give it... There's really banana hues in here too. I taste a lot of banana. I'm gonna give this a 4.4. This beer is just great. It's the perfect color for a hazy. Um, it has really juicy, really pineapple. I think it's wonderful for the summer. It's an IPA, but it's only 6%, which is not really something you find often. It's not too bitter. It's got the perfect balance of hops. I think a 4.4 on a scale of one to five is very appropriate. And um, it's one of my favorites. It's definitely one of my top rated beers. So I would definitely tap that and that's a review. So one of the things I will say about Parish Brewing is they are killing the IPA game. Like they have a cult following. And before I even started this show, I had fans already reaching out telling me to try their double IPA, which is called Ghost in the Machine. So you bet I will definitely be getting that one. 